Watch you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix, troubleshoot and diagnose Windows Media Player 12 or Windows Media Player issues. Now I've got a Windows 7 operating system here. Now this could be uh, used on a lot of other Windows Media Players as well but we're particularly talking about Windows Media Player 12 in this video and uh, Windows 7 I'm using. So this is not about what the best me Windows Media Player is so I don't want to see comments saying use uh, VLC or I choose this a lot better. This is about how to fix issues with Windows Media Player. So the first thing you can do is use a little program called Fix Win uh, Windows Media Player or WMP Utility. Okay, What this does when you run the utility it will actually uh, re-register all the files and it just does that as it's done there. Now that's from the Windows Club. It's a very uh, useful little tool. There's another tool that you can use and this again is from the Windows Club again and all you need to do is got some other tools on here but we're just talking about the Windows Media Player here so we're going to come down to Windows Media Player and as you can see there is a load of fixes for it and if you look up here you can see what type of fixes they are okay so win, uh, reset the Windows Media Player library fix the library uh, sync issues and all that sort of a uh, in Z just click on that and it will fix it also um, you've got a Windows Media Player Composer Mixer is uh, not working properly and so on and so on and all you need to do is click on these and it will fix that issue for you okay context menu and so on it will just keep fi fixing those issues if you had it okay so let's uh, shut this one off when you shut it off it will want to restart but I'm not going to bother doing that okay so what else can we do well Windows Media Player uh, and Microsoft have got their own little tool that you can use I'm not going to bother running this one but I will show you what to do you just need to click on the run bar here and then click save and then you can save this to your desktop like so and then you can run this tool okay this is the actual tool here you can run that tool and it will troubleshoot a lot of issues okay so what else can we do well what we can do here is we can run um, some other tools here as you can see these are the other commands that we've got Now these commands are built into Windows 7 so these might not necessarily work in Windows XP because it is not designed to work in XP only Windows 7 and I'm not going to bother typing that out I'm just going to copy this in and this will actually fix Windows Media Player settings all you need to do is come down to the run bar here I'm just going to paste that in there and as you can see the uh, Windows Media Player Configuration Diagnostics program will open up. I will just pull that down and this is the box that will open and if you click on the advanced tab as you can see it will say apply repairs automatically. All you need to do is click next it will detect some issues and then you can skip the fix or you can apply the fix. Okay, This is pretty simple as that. Now that's the actual settings part but I did say there was some other ones there and as you can see we've got the library issues there you can actually use this diagnostics tool uh, to actually fix the library issues again all you need to do is go down to the run area click on that and this will open up the library one as you can see it's now the same box but a different tool or diagnostics tool and again you just do the same thing and run through and it's going to resolve some issues and then apply the fix okay and there is one more there which is to do with the uh, DVD options and we need to do is do the same thing I'll just quickly show you that and then you just click on that and then again you'd have a diagnostics program open up again remember guys this is only compatible in Windows 7 this type of uh, fix okay okay the next thing you can do we're going to come down to the run bar again and we're going to type in here app whiz dot cpl like so and we're going to click on that now you can type in there windows feature or features and it will open up the same box and it will, it will actually open up the actual windows features box okay so if I do this for you I'll just show you that there oh. okay windows features and you can click on that there and it will actually open the box up so you don't have to type app if you don't want to either way it does the same thing 
Okay, so now we've got this open, what you need to do is come down to the Windows Media Player part, which is uh, Media Features. You come into here and you can see there that we have Windows Media Player. If we took the tick out of this, it will give us this box. We say yes. We click yes to that. And then click OK. You need to wait and it's going to make some changes. It's going to uninstall that and then when that's completed we put the tick back in, click OK again and it will actually reinstall it. You can actually reboot the system if you feel more comfortable doing that but I think just uh, putting the tick back in will be suffice. That will be OK. So we'll let that uh, finish its job. OK, so that's now completed. It is asking us to restart, so you will have to restart. It's probably advisable to do that. I'm not going to do that just yet because I don't want to bother uh, restarting right now. So I'm going to restart later on. And what you'd need to do is imagine that I've just rebooted and then you would actually put the tick inside here and click OK. And it would then install it again. OK, and that's now going to ask us to restart again but I shall restart later on. OK, hopefully that should fix a lot of your issues. There's a couple of more things. Last last resort, really, what I would suggest you do is uh, open up Command Prompt, like so, CMD, click on that, and what you want to do here is SFC space forward slash scan now, in case there's a some sort of issue and this will actually run a scan on the system and replace any problems with that okay it's going to do that every t next time we reboot something penned in there but that's the command you would need to do okay and the last but not least you would need to do a repair install if all else fails you would just uh, put the CD into the drive and do a complete repair install of the operating system. Your data will be safe and it will just repair the windows back to the way it was. Or you could do a system restore. Okay, and that would just be a simple case of coming up here, uh, going properties, again uh, going down to advanced system settings. And then straight into there and then you'd come into uh, system restore okay and then come into here and then choose a different restore point and then go back to the time when the computer was working properly okay so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys show your support hit the, sub uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and also if you enjoy my videos rate and favorite all my videos okay if you've got any problems with your computer and you want to help with them then head over to the forum the link is down below and uh, thanks for watching guys bye for now